Hey everyone and welcome to The Witcher 3. So with the new update that came out recently for Next Gen, it seems like a lot of people are playing the game, there's some interest again in it. I personally play it in my spare time, I don't make videos on it, it's one of my favorite games, I've, I've beat it numerous times. Uh, but this build here is my New Game Plus Death March build. Um, we're going to be going over that and just some gameplay me walking around through the forests and stuff like that. This is basically what I do now. Um, I've done everything in the game, completed every single quest more than once, so I just kind of roam around as a traveling witcher and fight monsters and do quests and things like that. But yeah, so let's get right into the build. Alright, so this is the gear that I'm using. Uh, the Zirel sword I use a lot now just because, like I said, I'm, I'm end game. There's not much for me to do, and it's one of the coolest swords in the game, I think. Then Erendite, in my opinion, is the best sword you can get for the silver slot. Some people are argue there's a, a different sword to use, but I like the Erendite. It looks really cool, and it levels up with you. Then I'm using the Ornate Robe, and only two pieces are equipped, but I use three uh, Manticore armor um, just for the... The maximum toxicity is, is a big one. Um, you can use it for the gear pieces, but I don't bother. The decoctions that you're going to see pop up, these are the only ones that I use on a regular basis. I, I try them all, but for the build itself, these three are the one you want to use, as well as the white raffers decoction, I think it's called. And that one gives you a temporary immunity. Um, and then combine that with the superior oils that you're going to uh, you're going to acquire throughout the game. You'll get regular oils, and then you can upgrade them to superior. Um, that helps a lot. And then going into the skills here, I'm using a hybrid build of uh, light attacks versus um, the mutagen stuff. Um, so like potions and stuff like that I don't bother using signs um, you can make the build however you want this is just my opinion on what I think is the the best build overall for death march and if you really want a lot more damage you can transfer some of these uh, some of the green vitality mutagens for two more reds I just have it broken up into two and two and as you can see, I don't even have the um, the maximum amount of slots. There's actually two more you can unlock and put two more uh, skills in. So you could do another red and a green or throw in some signs or something. I'm not going to read through all of the different, uh, the different things. You guys can pause the video. I may even put it in the description, the different uh, skills that I'm using and whatnot, just so that you don't have to sit and read through the text of, of all of them, but this is generally the build. And then we'll leave you with some gameplay of me fighting uh, one of the more tougher enemies in the Toussaint region. Um, again, as you'll see at the end of the fight, I am on Death March with enemy upscaling, and this is New Game Plus. <laughs> 